Hello, hello, Marnie here, and welcome back to our path. You may notice we have, uh, we have a few more credits than last time, or, uh, resource points, as I call them. Yeah, that, uh, that is an M. We have 1.367 million. Uh, yeah. Also, I'm starting to notice these are around now, these little chests. But they, um, oh, we got, wow, we got a lot out of that. Hmm. Yeah, there's quite a bit in that, actually. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, they seem to only last for a little while, then they disappear, so we kind of got to watch out for them. Uh, but yes, um, you may notice we have quite a few resource points. Uh, I decided to leave this on overnight while I slept, because, um, I mean, a part of this game is the idle aspect, so... I mean, I treated it like I would at any other game and figured, well, I'll, I'll leave it on while I sleep. And, um, yeah. I pretty much set on resource points for a while, I think. A um, couple of other things, um, but first... I hope you're doing well, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, but yeah, so, a couple of things. Um, I'd been moving these around a little bit. Um, I did some AFKing over there as well. Um, but, what I discovered is, so, we do have a ton more resources. We, we do. But, nowhere near as, like, it doesn't scale in comparison to our resource points. So, um, from what I had read, because I'm very... I kind of minimize what I want to look up because I don't want to learn things that I don't want to learn type of thing. Um, but it sounded like, I don't know if I see, okay, getting ahead of myself. So I don't know if this is slightly buggy or not because I did experience one thing, right? So I was standing up here and one of these activated and then I got an orange. I saw the orange going to my inventory and I had seen a couple of mentions of like that items don't despawn, but they will go to your inventory. And so I thought that was that, but then watching this more and like jumping around to collect them after a little bit of waiting and just kind of trying to test things, it does seem like there is quite a bit of item loss, but I don't know how intentional it is or how exactly it works. Um, it also seems like some of the respawning might be buggy. I said, I'm, I'm still not sure about certain things. So for example, right. Um, also, this was about where I stood last night. I removed the breakers from over there and set them mostly up here. Because um, I can reach most of them by standing here. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so like, for example, this was left like all night and I come over here and there's only a small handful of resources. But if they stacked up all night, I should have been getting, you know, hundreds from here. Um, but this is also one spot where it kind of seemed like the spawns slowed down, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, yeah, I'm less certain on this, but I did notice this area in particular. It seemed like the rocks weren't spawning back as fast as other things, and there just wasn't that many resources there. So it kind of seems like when some of them stack up, they just disappear. But I don't know if they're meant to go into your inventory or not, so... Yeah, I'm still a little unsure about some of that. Because um, there were a couple of times when I dropped down here and I got like, boom, there's like 150, 200 logs or something. Um, but then other areas, it was like I'm getting like a handful, like definitely a few stacks, but not the kind of thing you're getting if you leave it overnight. So, yeah, I, I'm less than, uh, I'm less than sure about how some of this actually works or is intended to work. Um, obviously we do have the collectors we can build now, which I assume are, yeah, so obviously the collectors kind of covers that, um, but I, I don't know how it's actually meant to work. I'm trying to figure it out, but yeah, I might search a little more into it, but yeah, I don't know. I like to figure things out and, but I, yeah, sometimes it's just hard to tell between bugs or not. Um, like how we had the, um, sleep and food off to begin with when it was meant to be on, uh, also, an odd thing today was when I l loaded in, um, these are all at zero for some reason. All the other settings are fine, but for some reason they were all set to zero, which is kind of strange. Didn't matter, obviously, just the... It seemed oddly quiet when I loaded in. Um, but yeah, anyway, I uh, won't worry about the resource stuff for now. We've got plenty. Um, I just want to figure it out so we're not, like, wasting them. But, yeah. So you'll see, like, see how they, like, merged there? So if we grab that... That was eight wood, but that should have been wood from like three different trees, right? But yet we only got eight. And yet if we go over to these trees, for example, 
Oops, all right, I don't need to change them, do I? But yeah, so like, we knock one tree down. Three. Oh, no, actually, okay, maybe that is correct then, sorry. I thought these trees gave a higher minimum, so maybe that's a bad example. They go five. And yeah, no, maybe this is a bad example. Or, I don't know though, because that was still... And yeah, no, maybe that was a bad example, okay. But I, yeah, I'd, I'd had cases where I'd run it for a lot longer. I just thought that was to kind of to show up, but I still did seem low for three, or at least three. Hmm. But yeah, I do want to kind of try and figure that out still, though. Um. Yeah. But anyway, it doesn't matter too much. We have, we do have a ton of resources regardless. I did a fair bit of like hopping around and stuff, collecting them up as they're being broken. So. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll go over the resources real quick. Just want to get this tree since you know, easy wood. Um, but yeah, apparently, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. So I have an achievement on Steam. Um, destroy 10,000 resources. 14.8% of players. That That's surprising. Because that's just like from one overnight, basically. And not with a crazy setup, so... I don't, I don't know, maybe not many people are doing that? I feel like that was kind of the natural thing to do, but... Yeah, um, we'll go over our resources, and then we're getting some skill upgrades. Oh, yes, we are. That is going to be so good. I'm particularly looking forward to the uh, the jump upgrade. But yeah, so we've got like 2,400 wood, a couple hundred flowers, 1,500 flint, 3,000 stone, 1,200 coal, uh, about 200 copper, 91 ingots, almost 3,000 iron ore, <laughs> 54 ingots, got a few hundred of sand. That was mostly me manually harvesting. Um, 30 glass, 24 brick. Uh, 75 feathers. See, there's another one, like, we've only got two amber from, like, that whole night running here. Um, 270 wheat, some branches, 77 water capsules, 46 draw, 20 branches. So, yeah, I, I think the amber's probably a good example where it does seem like there is resource loss, but I'm less than clear how it works. Um, but I also noticed this over here, too. Um, all oh, right, I harvested these. I was wondering why things look... No, wait. Oh, what's going on here? Where's all the resources? Maybe they have to respawn in after you close the game. Oh, anyway. I had um, just a few of the breakers set up here. Um, and I noted down how much sand I had. Then I left it for probably like an hour. Then I went to around here to grab the piles. And I gained like 20 sand. Um, so yeah, th there's things like that that have sort of confirmed the resource loss. But I don't know if it's acting buggy. Or if it is just like... The piles, when they merge, because it looks like they merge. You saw with those um, logs before, right? And you see that here, but then I don't know if there's just loss or I, I don't really know what's happening, but I have seen the resource losses, what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, as I said, as you saw, we have uh, plenty and um, yeah, if we need more sand, we can harvest manually because that's what I ended up doing here. Um, but yeah. That's, uh, that's probably the, the nighttime catch-up. Sorry, a bit rambly here. Hopefully I'm making sense. Um, but yeah, we have, we have a ton of stuff to work with, so that'll be good. And yeah, like you said, there's, um, yeah, okay, I think I'm done with the resource stuff. I'm just, I just want to figure it out, you know? I, uh, I like to understand the mechanics behind things. Um, but at the same time, if we set up collectors, I guess that's all kind of redundant anyway. So... Yeah. Um, which, what do they cost, by the way? Stone, iron, and bricks. Okay, so that's that's easy. Okay. So we could set them up all over the damn place then. Like, no worries at all. Um, yeah, I want to get some skill upgrades. Uh, we'll do our island expansion since we've got plenty of points. We have so many points. Um, but yeah, let's actually get some stuff going here. Because we have, like, an absurd amount of stuff. And I don't know how much we're going to need. But we may as well keep some on hand. Can I, like... I already tried that, didn't I? Okay, one small quality of life thing would be really nice if you hold this down and the number goes up. Small thing, but I, I think that'd actually be really nice. But yeah, we'll get a hundred of those going, since, uh... Why not? And... Glass. Yeah, we definitely... We want a whole bunch of glass. We still don't have a ton of sand compared to everything else, but 
All good. And we'll get some more bricks as well. I'm sure we'll need them. Alright, so we'll let those go. Uh, let's see. Anything else we kind of want to get going while we're at it? Oh, right. I, I want to build some more of these as well. They seem to cap out at only three each. Uh, what did they... What did they cost? Okay, they're bricks. Got a bunch of B... Alright, let, let's... um. Wait, what is that for? Oh, that's coal. Okay. Whoops. Uh, yeah, now let's cancel that. And we'll get 50 going. Because I think we're going to need the bricks for sure. Yeah, let's pop at least one more of those down here for the minute. I don't know how much honey we're going to need, but I, I like them anyway. So, uh, Also, the pump down here seems to cap out at 55, I think. Uh, because there was 55 there after a very, very long time. So I'm assuming that, but maybe it actually is just slower than I realize. Um, should we get another one going? I mean, we want like a lot of resources, right? So I feel like with things like this that are completely passive, kind of silly not to get more of them. Um, where are we at? Yeah, we have a few new things to check out today. Is it that? Water pump. Okay. Yeah, brick, iron, coal. Yeah. Is that the right way? That way. Yeah, I figure, I mean, if we're going to need water at some point, we may as well have more. Yeah. Three of those will do for now. Maybe get more in the future. Seems like we are going to need a lot more bricks. They, they seem to be needed for a lot of things, so maybe I will do some manual sand harvesting here and there. But yeah, we should probably get a bunch of the collectors going. Um, okay, we'll get the upgrade. So I'm going to be bouncing around again today. I'm sure there's just this game scratches that itch for me. It's uh, it very much shoots my ADD brain because I can just bounce around kind of wildly and go thing to thing and back and forth. So I don't know. Hopefully it keeps you guys uh, engaged and yeah, <laughs> and apologies at the same time. Uh, it's fine. But yes, uh, where are we at? Yeah, let's just kind of... I don't really know how they work yet, so... I think we'll just pop one down there and kind of see. Uh, okay, so it's already gathered those. And you can just do filters. Yeah, so I think it goes to nine items. So I assume once there's nine in there, it just won't collect any more. But it'll, I assume, collect an unlimited number of those. Uh, but considering their cost, I feel like we don't really need to worry about filters that much. Oh, what did I just... Oh, I collected them. Ah. Okay. Yeah, alright. Because, yeah, we'll probably just want to put a bunch of them around. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll just do a couple more for now and then kind of see how they perform. Yeah, okay, we'll put one there. And... I don't know, maybe we'll put one there. It's not going to cover the whole area. Ooh, one here would probably be useful as well. I wish you could, like, stack them or something. Because, like... They have the exact same range as them. So if you could, like, stack them on each other, that'd be really nice. Because otherwise you're kind of, you know, just off covering what you want to cover. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll just go with that. They, they can be rough for now there. It's, you know, it's fine. I might put one back here as well. So as I said, the, like last time, like, the nice thing about this game is that you can kind of just use your resources however you want with this stuff. Because you can just break them later anyway. So you don't really have to worry. But alright, well, um... Okay, I'm kind of wanting more of them again. Uh, does that cover that? Sorry, I'm so all over the place. Yeah, now let's, uh... Wait, what happens if we dismantle that? Do we gain resources? Looks like it. So let's put one up here, maybe. That'll cover a bit of that as well. Okay. But yeah, let's get some skill upgrades. I am... I am looking forward to those. <laughs> 
This is going to be so good. Well, actually, well, okay. Let us do our expansion first, because that'll gain us a couple more skills. As I said, I'm, I'm bouncing around. It's going to be kind of how it goes with these. And yeah, we'll definitely be going to the next island today too. So that'll be nice. Oh, that was the final one for here. Okay. Oh yeah, somewhat connected up uh, a little bit closer to here. Yeah. Oh, we got books. Oh, we got treasure. 15 spark flies, 748 coal. What the f... Okay. <laughs> Those seem OP. That's a lot of resources. Okay. But yeah, what do we got for skills? Boost your reach uh, buildings up to five meters. Oh, nice. That's, 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 yeah, nice. Raise critical damage by 12%. Yeah, that's good, but, you know, I like the other thing more. Yeah, we also have the personal cave to check out, don't we? Ah, there's a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this game, as you can probably tell. But yeah, we have uh, so many points, so let's see what we can get. Um, raise, I mean, that's cheap, so may as well. Raise critical damage. Reduce objects health by 24%. Yeah, let's get two of those. Fishing. I don't really care about these right now, but that's cheap, so may as well get one. 20 cent chance, caught things, may as well. Thrift. Yeah, we got plenty of resources. I don't we'll, we'll kind of bounce. I said uh, we have a lot, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, boost your reach buildings up to 10 meters. Oh, wow. So we got five just then. We can go to 10, 15. So wait, how does that work? Um, like, what does that really, what does that mean? Boost your reach building. Oh, okay. I thought, it, okay. I know I misunderstood. So that's like, if we were to make one of these, oh my God. Yes. Yeah, so we can like build way away now. Oh, that's not, that, that's, that's actually really nice. It's like a simple thing, but yeah, that's nice. Yeah. I was thinking it was like reaching to a interact with buildings. Yeah, okay. So that is boost your reach up to 20. I mean, 10, yeah, why not? It's fine. Yeah, you can see they do they do get expensive. Um, creatures spawn 30% faster, 25k, why not? Creatures drop 150% more resources. Yeah, why not? So, oh yeah, movement speed. 40%, 50%. Oh, getting expensive. Shiny Reese will appear with 8 times loot and 20 times credits. May as well. Oh, 8. Oof, 800k. Yeah, this one. Get two additional jumps. Holy shit, 2.85 million for the next one. Okay. Okay. I was thinking we we're going to get a couple of those upgrades. Damn. Uh, let's see. Critical chance. I mean, I guess that's cheap. Any other cheapies we want to get? What are they? Eh, it's fine. Reduce structure cost by... I mean, that's 21. We may as well get that. I think that's probably good for now. Some nice upgrades. And anyway, this is the nice thing about the jump now. We, I think we can actually make it... Yeah. That is enough to make the difference of, like, jumping between these two. That's cool. I like that. Oh, yeah. Now, movement speed. Oh, uh, Yeah. We're going to get, like, the movement's going to be crazy as we go along. Actually, what was the next movement speed upgrade? Because that I, that I really like. Uh, exploration. 275k. Ooh, that's tempting. We'll leave it for now. Just because, um, I don't know how much the next island stuff's going to cost. Because with our current stuff, we can kind of go to the next island and do a bunch of expansions. Which would be nice. Um, also... Oh, wow. Okay. You need 11 amber for the island core, which, yeah, we just don't seem to be getting much of that. But, with that said... 
One of the big things we probably haven't made yet is that, yeah. The entrance to your personal cave where rare minerals and ores appear more frequently, yeah. Which, I wonder if that's always loaded. Or if you can also use, like, an island core down there. We'll have to check that out. Um... Right, let us sleep, get our stuff back up, and... I think we'll kind of work towards going to the next island. Like, because there's a bunch of new stuff we want to check out. Um, such as, like, the farming and that kind of stuff. But I feel like I'd probably prefer to set that up on the next island, if possible. Because we don't have a lot of, like, open space here. And I'm pretty sure... We can get to the new island, like, super quick. Potentially. Ten honey, that's easy. Ingots, no worries. Oh shit, eating too much. Um, so why? Right, we need universal paint and scroll of bone. Let's see about that. That is... That's, yeah, easy. 20 of those. I also want to craft this weird thing that rotates island blocks. Because I, I don't know what to make of that. that that'll be interesting to see. Um, what was it? Five scroll of bone. And yeah, all good. Bam. On the way to the next island. Which, um... Yeah, I feel like we'll probably want to pack everything up. Maybe... We'll see, we'll see about the next island, I guess, first, but I can't really see myself wanting to really come back here. Um, it depends where the island is, maybe. If it goes, like, that way or that way, like, we still have our little, like, base area over there. But, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, our movement's getting better and better, so jumping around sort of no big deal. So I think it'll be kind of easier to establish a more permanent base while still being able to bounce around any of these places we want to, if we do want to. So yeah, we might like literally clear this whole island. Um, but we won't do it first. We'll go to the next island, get that established and everything. And once we're sorted, we'll come back here and maybe clear this off. Um, so yeah, we might focus on that to start. And yeah, we'll kind of do the new stuff on the new island, I think. So yeah, we have... Um, yeah, we've got the Recycler to check out. We have the mill. Got these uh, crop uh, plant and the planters. Uh, was it crop plots? Yeah, and the planters. And what else? We haven't actually tried storage yet. I assume it's just storage, so obviously. Um, but yeah, and cave entrance. Yeah. Uh, I am curious about the storage, though. Like, I mean, it's obvious what it is, but I don't know what the point of it is. Uh, unless this is the maximum inventory, for example. But so far, it feels kind of unlimited, and I kind of hope it is. It's it's nice just really having everything on you. Uh, I guess it depends how storage works, though, too. But... Yeah, because if storage kind of acts as just a way to empty your inventory, but it still sa stays global, that would be good. But it kind of depends. Like, for example, if storage was placed here, but we can't ac access the items from over here, then it would be better to just have them in our inventory. So we'll kind of have to see on that. Um, yeah. But anyway, what do we got there? All right, I'll wait for the rest of the universal paint. And then we'll, uh, yeah, check out the next island. Alright, that is our universal paint. Uh, I also decided while we are waiting, I knocked down all the breakers and the collectors. Because I figure we may as well do that. Um, we might want to sort of do that whole, like, skeleton crew of them here at some point. But, um, yeah, I think we're pretty good resource-wise in terms of what's here, so... Oh, I missed one. Whoops. And yeah, it makes them cheaper to build anyway, so... Not that we don't... We've got plenty of resources, but, you know... You do go through the glass a bit as you uh, stack them up. And said we should be able to do like a full island upgrade pretty much straight away, I reckon, on the next one. So we will probably want to spread like a bunch of them out and do a whole bunch of collectors. So we'll try and set it up like kind of efficiently. So like nothing's on the ground, ideally. But uh, yeah, let's uh, 
Let us do that. And boom. Beautiful. Where are you, island? Island? That was all we do, right? Wait, is that a new island? Or is that always there? No, I don't think that was. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. That is a new one, right? It's so close. I kind of hope that there's an upgrade down the line. Because um, I like the idea of the island core. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm curious. So, when active, the current island will not deactivate when you leave it. You can only have one passive island. I'm curious if that's actually going to make it so that is fully loaded like this one is, for example. Or will it still have that low, like, low detail look to it, but it'll technically be loaded? Because honestly, I, I would love for these all to just be loaded, but... Maybe, maybe there's a reason for it, like, engine-wise or something. But yeah, this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> okay, I was kind of hoping something a little bit bigger, but... Still, that's good. Uh, increases item drop quantity from resources by 30%. Oh, damn, that's that's a lot. Yeah, nice. We are going to want to upgrade that. Monetization, 30% chance of resources dropping plus 20% credits. Oh, my God. Okay. Before we even look at that, I am going to upgrade those. Like, they are both worth an upgrade or two, for sure. Uh, where are we at? Is that, uh, what will they be under? Jump. Shiny. Probably in here. 30% chance of resource dropping more credits. Yeah, that's definitely worth a couple upgrades. Increase item drop quantity from resource by 60%. Oh my god, that's so much. 90%. Wow, okay. <laughs> those those are actually huge upgrades. There's the quantities thing, wow. Nice. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting, uh... wasn't quite expecting this. Hmm. Still, this is, yeah, I guess next tier. Jura Steel. Coconut cocktail, emeralds, and shells. Okay. Let's uh let's get to expanding though. Oh actually first thing I I do want to place. We'll try and do I don't know, maybe we'll try and do a proper base here. Uh what am I looking for? Oh right, we can have a real bed now. That'll be nice. Yeah, I don't know, maybe the next island? Because I did see one in the screenshots that was like green and had like um, pinky kind of looking trees. I really like that one. Oh, raise click damage to resource by 15%. Okay. Infinity enables infinite options in the crafting benches. Oh, okay. So I guess that's like how we could only do 20 threads. That uh, adds more. Oh, we have our uh, crabs here. Okay, I'm not seeing any uh, Jura steel. I don't know how that'll go. Coconut cocktails. Okay, I assume we'll be setting up for those. Yeah, let's keep the expansions going though. May as well. Oh, purple, fancy. Magic items and weapons deal thirty percent more damage. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, just the one book? Is that... Oh, Emerald, okay. So how many was it over here? 20 Emerald. Oh, okay, that, that one's an easy one then. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep expanding. Oh, that away. Two more books? Oh, right. 
Uh, enables crafting custom quantities in crafting benches. Ah, touche game. I really, uh, that may cover what I said, like, because I remember, I think it was in the first part, I said about how, um, wait, what was it? The quality of life feature I wanted. Um, oh yeah, I said about the, um, it'd be good to have a, a quality of life feature where it automatically selected the tools you used and then we got a book for it. And then earlier I was saying it'd be good if you could like hold down uh, on the plus to like set the quantity rather than have to keep clicking. And we just got a thing that allowed for custom quantity, so. Yes. Touche, developer. You can have one additional passive island. Oh my god, okay. Again. <laughs> I was saying but just before about, uh... Wait, did I actually say that or did I think it? Either way, yeah, I was wondering about, like, um... Being able to have, like, mo like... Did I finish what I was saying? Sorry, I'm, I'm so all over the place with these games like this. But I was saying if there'd be, like, an upgrade for this or something. Um... To be able to, like, have multiple islands active and stuff. Or be able to have them all active, so... Yeah, I forget if I finished what I was saying about that, but anyway. Yeah, I haven't done like a let's play of this kind of game in a while, so I'm enjoying it and so my, my brain just, yeah. These games are very suited to me, um, but on the let's play side, you just kind of got to bear with me uh, going in 12 different directions. <laughs> ay ay ay. But yeah, that's, uh, that is nice. That is very nice. So I am curious though, will that, um, cause I guess that's a skill now, right? So does that mean we can actually upgrade that to get more and more active? Um, all right, raise the click damage to resources, 10K, 20K. Where are we at? Oh, that's over here. You can have two additional, co yeah, okay, nice. That's got more upgrades, oh yeah, okay. Actually also, oh, there's a magic category. Huh, magic island weapons, do that. Um, yeah, the building. What did I want here? Reduce structure cost. Uh, we have spent a lot, we won't do that yet. I was thinking, because the island cores are quite expensive in, in terms of amber. Not really a worry otherwise, but yeah, we haven't, had much luck with getting amber. Hmm. All right. Very good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do another overnight thing, I reckon, because uh, yeah, we need we need a lot of resource points. And yeah, go for it. Boom. The beach place is fully upgraded. Hate raises click damage to creatures by thirty percent. Okay. Interesting uh, title. Once you enter an island, all items on the floor will be picked up. Ooh, okay. Really? Damn. Okay. That's interesting. So I guess that's like if you have the, the um, passive island set up, you have breakers on here, you can basically just pop in and pick up everything at once. Okay, that's pretty nice. Um, I'm also just thinking here. Hmm. I don't even know if we want to set up a base on this one, to be honest. Like, I don't know if it's necessary. Like, I feel like we're better, probably better off just setting up automation here. And letting the resources build up to go to the next island. Like, I do like the beach island, like, it's a nice addition. But I don't think we really need a full base setup, do we? Like, we can literally just hop over there to use all our stuff, so... Yeah. That's, uh, that might be the way to go. Because these are quite small, like, we can probably set up a whole bunch of automation really, really nicely here. Uh, yeah. I feel like that might be the way to go. The only thing is, I'm still not sure. We are fully upgraded, but we haven't seen Durasteel, which kind of makes me wonder if we don't need the cave entrance. Hmm. Okay. That also might be a way to get more amber too. All right. Uh, I'm going to set up our breakers and collectors here. 
And I'll show you guys our setup. And then I think we'll check out that cave. I think that'll be good. Man, you get so much from those. 69 copper, like... It's a fair bit, and like, yeah, and we got like 700 coal before. But yeah, so I think I'll get the breakers all set up here. And then... Ooh, yeah, I'm curious if we set up the... If we set up the entrance here... Will this island stay loaded when we're down there? Because if so, we can let the breakers do their thing while we're down there. Because that'd be good. Um, actually, before I cut off to do that, but, um, let's just jump over the research bench real quick. Maybe that's one worth setting up on the island. Yeah, because we've opened up a whole bunch of stuff. Crab trap. Cauldron of offerings. Introduce a creature, it will drop its loot and bones from time to time. Supplier. It gathers items from other collectors, vacuums, and chests specified by filters. Okay, wait. It gathers items from other collectors, vacuums, and chests. Okay. I don't... I don't really understand the point. Um... Maybe it's useful, like, connected to something else? I, I don't really... And hold up the three types of items. Yeah, I don't... I don't really understand that one yet. Maybe it's, like... Hmm. I thought maybe that can, like, su like, see, like, supply other things, but... Like, for example, like... Uh, keep seeds fed into the planter or something, but then this can hold six items anyway. I don't know. We we'll want to research everything, but I'm not sure on that one yet. Advanced research table. Oh, allows you to unlock new structures. Ooh. Electrifier. Energetically charged builds in some resource nearby. Oh, okay. So that's like a passive way to power um the breakers. Mining post. Breaks nearby resources. Ooh, okay. We have an upgrade to the breakers. Oh, okay. We've got some good stuff. Auto feeder. I introduce a food. When you are close, it will feed you automatically. Okay. That's useful. Yeah, we've got some good stuff here. Um, Looks like we need gold for that, which we don't have yet. Same for that. Uh, let's get the advanced research going. Um, otherwise, yeah. All right, I'm getting our breakers set up, and yeah, I think we'll check out the the thing. I'm forgetting what it's called again. Cave entrance. That yeah, straightforward enough. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's do that. Okay, we should be pretty well set up now. Uh, I went until we ran out of bricks, which yeah, we're definitely gonna need more bricks. Uh, I tried to kind of keep it well covered. Pretty much everything should be getting picked up. Uh, spread it around the different areas. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of them. Haven't set up any red ones, which I should probably do. Uh, I'm not sure how full these will be getting. Hmm. Yeah, if we do red ones as well, we may need... Might need another one of them. Uh, but yeah, we definitely need a lot more bricks, so I might get some more of those going. Uh, what do the crabs actually give us? Is it just meat or does it give us crab? Oh, crab shells. Okay, we might want some red ones down as well then. Okay. Uh, alright, I'm gonna get some more bricks going. Wait, actually, do we need- what do we need for the red ones again? Damn, they do need bricks as well. I've made a lot of yellow ones, apparently. Okay, well, I'm going to get some more bricks going, put a few red ones down, and then we'll, uh... Well, actually, let's just make it now. Let's pop that right here. Somewhere. Yeah, we'll do it over here where we don't have any stuff. And good. Yeah. Alright, I'll, uh, I said, I'll get some bricks going, put a few red ones down, just so we can get a little bit of crabs and stuff going, and, um, yeah, we'll go check out that. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know this, yeah. So it looks like with the research, it actually does pause when you leave an island. So that is, uh, that is good to know. We might want to make one over there then. 
Uh, also, to show you guys, yeah, so you can actually type in a number here now, so... Yeah, very nice addition there. Um, but yeah, I guess we're going to want to make a research bench at the very least, and... Was there anything new over here? Oh, did I... Did I make one of them? Oh, so this is a... I mean, this might be a one-off use, then. Ah, okay, well, let's make one of those a checkout. And just to see how they work, because I, I really don't know what to expect with that. I guess we'll just, like, let that finish, and we'll make an advanced research bench over there while we're there. Because um, I'm kind of assuming it'll just be a expanded. I don't know if we're going to need both or not, so we'll see. But yeah, let's, um... How do we go about this? Is that a tool? Magic? Oh, it's okay, it's magic. See, I don't, I don't know what to expect. Let's try it on this one, maybe. Okay, so it, yeah, it literally does turn. Okay, I mean, I I thought that was what it was going to do, but... That's really random. Okay, I don't know how much, like, use that has. But I guess you can kind of reconfigure things a bit. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. I don't think we need it right now, but, yeah, something to play around with in the future, I reckon. And, yep, that is... Done, wherever that was. Oh, spreader. Spawns one plant resource every five seconds. Okay. Very good. Alright, we've got bricks. Um, yeah, let's just set up the advanced research bench while we're at it. Then I'll get those red thingies down. And, uh, yeah. We'll head down there as we were, as we meant to. <laughs> Slowly get into things. Um, Alright, where are we at? Oh, we need black bone and paper. Okay, one second. Okay, I haven't um, I haven't got those yet for the advanced research thing, but something awesome I just realized. I try. I was gonna just like try it, expecting it not to be, but um, you can actually stack these. So that is really nice. Oh, why did I just gain a bunch of stuff? Did that like take out from there? Oh, that's weird. For some reason, it harvested. But yeah, that is, that is really nice. Because yeah, I set up the red ones. But I realize, like, a lot of these are already full with stuff, so... Yeah. I think, uh... What do these cost again? Oh my god, they're, they're actually pretty expensive on bricks. Alright, I'm gonna have to do some, like, serious sand harvesting and get a crap load of bricks. Uh, fortunately, we are getting sand from here, actually, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, no, that's actually, uh, that is actually really nice. Alright, anyway, I'll go get the stuff we need for the advanced research bench. Uh, there's only a few of these up now, but I think that'll cover us. Yeah, I'll um, I'll get some more bricks going. Get the uh, things we need for the advanced research bench, check that out, and then, then down there. Oh, interesting, I didn't see that before. I guess sleeping in a bed gives you like a bonus? So sleep bar is like extra now. Huh, okay. But uh, yeah, we have all we need. Uh... Let's get our advanced research bench going. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to need both or not, so we'll see. Oh, unlock next biome first. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of weird. Okay, no worries. I assume we, yeah, I wonder why. Like, it seems weird to unlock it here, but you can't use it to the next one. Yeah. Well, I guess we also need a normal one then. Let's uh, keep these going. Uh, I did research that. The upgraded version. Um, crab table tries to catch crabs from time to time. Oh, trapped. Did I say table? Let's get the auto feeder. That sounds pretty useful. Um, yeah, so before we head down, what is the cost of the upgraded one? Okay, so they're a bit more expensive, I assume they work as like a base, I don't know, is it like a base cost, or is that cost based on us also having a bunch of them, I wonder? I reckon that'd be a base cost, so yeah, glass, brick, and gold, so not too bad, really. Oh, okay, one more, one more quick tangent before we go down there. Something I completely forgot about until now. 
Um, because yeah, we, we unlocked a new area, which means new artifacts. There might be some, uh, some good stuff. Yeah, okay, Emerald Tome. Okay, so a better version of the tome. Durasteel Bell. 1.5 credits per second while you're offline. That's, that, that adds up. Generate 90 credits every 5 seconds. That is also pretty nice. Um... Yeah, I mean, we may as well. It seems like we really need to make some paper, leather, and glass. Okay, I must have collected everything there. Yeah, let's get some more glass going. We'll do 90. We seem to constantly need it. And... Wait, do I have two inscription tables? No, I have three. Ah. Because, yeah, no, I built another one. For some reason, I didn't... Okay, no worries. That works. Um, yeah, let's get some paper... Oh, right, flowers. Ah. Alright, that's fine. What is... Oh, got the crab orb. Okay. Yeah, we also need leather. How are we doing on that? I made some more thread, too. Which... Yeah... I guess we'll just do all of that, and we'll get some more thread going. Ooh, let's get like 150, maybe. Yeah, we'll just get them going. Oh, all right, crab bag, bone gloves, tack speed, leather diver fin, decreased swimming speed by 50%. Basic caption net. Oh, caption net bug net. Huh. Oh, that's got 100% rate. Right? Yes, yeah, so there's more things you need to upgrade to. Okay. I would say that is all good for now. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll just collect them up later. I mean, wait, are we... Are they just automatically going to us now? Not sure. Like, I made paper just before and it was going on the ground. Oh, maybe it's because of our pickup range? Hmm, okay. But we just got... Not sure. Like, why did we just get a pop-up? Uh, I'm hearing things, but is that... Okay, it's fine. We're all good. Let's go check out this, uh, personal cave. And, uh, what are, how are we doing on here, by the way? Right, coconut cocktail. We don't have Juristil yet. Shells. How are we doing on shells? 17. But they're probably, uh, hopefully building up in here. Coconut fruit. Yeah, get some shells there. Okay, things are uh, things are going well. Obviously, I've been standing over there, so we haven't had a ton build up here yet, but this, uh, this should be good. All right, anyway, let's go check out the cave finally. I don't know what to expect. Oh, okay. Kind of dark. What is that? Big stone. Okay, it's quite small. I wonder if we can expand it. Hmm. Uh, I assume, can we automate down here as well? I assume. Because like... What are... Oh, no, you can't build down here. Ah. Okay. That's interesting. Wasn't expecting that. But so I wonder if the there's just like a better chance for certain things to spawn down here or not seeing anything too crazy down here at the moment. Hmm. 
was kind of hoping this would be like a good way to get some ammo. Because I, I don't actually know how to get ammo. Oh, I, I just got four ammo. <laughs> ah. I guess there's just a chance with stone. It just seems surprising how I got so few at that other island. But I guess those big ones have a chance. Huh. On the roof, that's interesting. Yeah, these like m look like maybe they're going to be like paths to expand. I don't know. Yeah, maybe like, uh, oh, it could be through the advanced research table maybe. We'll get like different cave entrance things or something. But yeah, do I need to be down here or? Yeah, I don't know how this works. Like, will things respawn while I'm out of here? I guess we'll just, like, clear up the floor and then just see. Because, yeah, this uh, wasn't actually too much to see down here, apparently. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, we'll pop down there again in a bit just to see if anything's changed. And, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll, um... I guess we can just kind of see about going to the next island, right? How are we doing on emeralds? Oop, very close. Getting there. So, Jura Steel. Have I got any Jura Steel ore? Because I didn't, I didn't think I had. Hmm. Um. I guess let's head over here again. Because, like, maybe the Jura Steel is actually there to smelt and I just ignored it. Like, it could be gold and iron or something. Yeah, it is. It is gold and iron. Okay. So I guess we actually just want to get some, uh... I guess we'll do like half and half. Okay, so we got to get those going. And do we have, um... How are we doing on... Uh, what do we want? Oh, magic. Oh, we need one more amber. Because right now, it would be good, because like... We're sort of coming back here to do stuff, but while we're doing that, things aren't happening over there. So it would be good if we get to have both of these loaded at the moment. So if I can get lucky with some amber... But yeah, I don't, I, I'm guessing it's just the, the stone rocks? Like, random chance? Not really sure, though. So we had so few. Uh, either way, though, we can get one of them shortly. Um, yeah, I was just thinking, I guess we kind of just want to work towards Jura Steel at the moment, because that's going to be, I assume, new tools as well as upgrades and stuff. So might be worth me hanging out over there for a bit. Um, but we also needed, what was it, um, Coconut Cocktails? Which, yeah, they're right here. Okay. Oh, you need milk. And split coconut. Oh, that's just formed from a coconut. Okay, that's simple enough. Milk, though. Ooh, okay. I guess we'll get those going. And we're going to need some bottles. Of course, glass. Oh, my God. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Wait, why is that? Oh, you get two per. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just get 20 of those. And I'm guessing we have to do that manually then. Or maybe later there's like machines you can put the glass into that will automatically get milk or something. But yeah, we just need coconut cocktails and Jura Steel now, right? I mean, essentially. We've still got to wait on a couple things over here, but... Yeah, so we need a couple more emeralds, shells. So it's 20 Jura Steel, 15 of those. That's simple enough. Okay. Yeah, we'll just kind of have to wait for these to do their thing a little bit then. We need, uh, we need gold and stuff. Yeah, it's still a little bit going. Oh, right, these aren't charged. Gotta make sure to keep these up, eh? Still, we are getting a good uh, amount of stuff, even though we haven't been here that long yet. Because, yeah, there's, there shouldn't be really any resource loss now, since we have the collectors going. Which is going to make a big difference. Yeah, these should all still be uh, powered because I've been in the air, been coming to here. But I reckon a few of them are probably empty. 
That's alright. That one's alright. Close-ish. How did that do? Oh yeah, we got plenty more gold from that. Uh, we're down to 33 iron ingots, but we have a crap ton of iron ore. Okay. I guess um, I'm going to hang out between these islands a little bit and just kind of make some stuff. Oops, wrong island. <laughs> but yeah, because we kind of just need gold, iron, and some resources. So I'll kind of pile those up a little bit and then I'll um, yeah, I'll check back with you guys. Oh, I just realized I didn't even notice that before. You actually need glass for Durastil as well. Okay, I might need to do some... Well, actually, no, because there's sand coming in over there. Okay, no, that's all right then. Yeah. Also, just a um, quick update before we get to more things. It turns out, it seems like, you can unlimited milk cows. Yeah. You, you don't actually have to go, like, one by one and wait or anything. You can just uh, keep milking away, apparently. So, yeah, we can, uh, we'll get our 15 leaves going. And, yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, I wish I could get one more amber. I could do both. But otherwise, yeah, I guess I'll just wait here and then go hang out there for a little bit. Something like that. Okay, this is kind of cool. I just realized some of these are actually giving bricks. Yeah, like we just got two bricks from that. So that's really nice because we've needed a fair few of them. But yeah, so these are actually automatically collecting bricks now. So that is, uh, that's pretty great. Yeah. Very nice. All right, well, we almost have what we need for the next island, just waiting on some Durasteel. Uh, but I noticed something interesting. So, we have one of these skills. Um, which one is it? Is it that one? No. Uh, foraging. Switches. Oh, it's one. Yeah, it is one of them green ones. Okay, I should have found this first. What is it? Once you enter an island, all items on the floor will be picked up. Yeah, this one. So it seems like there's also, or it works when you leave an island. So you notice there, right? That's why like before I was a bit confused what was happening. So yeah, it's not like just when you enter, it's when you leave an island. Or it may even be specifically that. All right, let's try and like, um... I guess I, did I get them? In, oh wait, that got collected, okay. Okay, my, my range is kind of high now. But yeah, it seems to be when you leave, not when you enter. Because, I mean, it's sort of similar, but yeah. Because it, I guess it, oh, it probably goes both ways, actually, now I'm thinking about it, right? At the moment, it can only go one way. But once we have um, one of these going, oh shit, we got another amber. Ooh, nice. Okay, we can try this out now, yeah. Oh, awesome. But yeah, once you have one of these going, I guess it applies both ways. But yeah, so it does, um, yeah, so the wording on that, I don't know if that's like just, um, not worded properly or if it's not meant to go both ways, but it's nice. Yeah. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get one of these going. I guess it doesn't matter which one of these two we put it on. So let's just put you over here. Somewhere there. Almost. There we go. So set passive island. Okay. Also, I think we need a quick nap. Yeah, so this should stay loaded now, at least as I understand. I'm curious how it, like... Does that mean if we go down here as well? Like anywhere, this will just stay loaded, I assume? We should really also get some better food. I'm still eating fibers. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as you can see... Well, actually, no, this would be a good example now. Okay, so it still kind of goes into low poly mode. Oh, maybe that's render distance now? Actually. Okay, let, let's see if we can crank up our render distance and see everything. I don't... Is there any reason not to go 500? Maybe. Yeah, no, okay, it literally does keep it loaded then. Ah, awesome, okay. I didn't know if it would be visually or just, yeah... Okay, awesome. And we can make another one of these. We're, uh... Wrong table. You can have... Th yeah, so we can have three at the moment. Oh, three additional. Oh, so we can have four islands loaded at a time then. I mean, well, the one we're on plus three more then. Ah. 
Nice. I wonder if that means... Yeah, so there's... Oh, no, sorry, that's the next one. We can have two more at the moment. So that'll be three, that'll be four, that'll be five. So I wonder if there's six islands total then. Or if there will be more. Because I would love it to be able to have them all loaded. But yeah, that, uh, that should still be generating stuff then. Oh yeah, because we can see our resources going up. I mean, uh, resource points, credits. Yeah, awesome. Uh, how are we doing on this? I have a bunch of stuff going. Yeah, I added some more of these up here as well. Making like glass and various things because we seem to always need stuff. We had like over a thousand sand, so yeah, I got a bunch of glass going. Oh, we're getting, still doing pretty well there. Yeah, so we should be pretty set on resources soon. Uh, I did also plop one, another one of them down just to see if it was the same. And yeah, it does seem no matter where you put it, it's the same. Um, and yeah, the ores are regenerating back when we're when we're away, so just have to pop in there every so often, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay, I guess I'll just um I'll hang out till the Jura still's done, and I'll meet you guys over there because we have everything else we need. We have um we've got the emeralds, we have the uh, fifteen cocktails. I uh, got shells, so yeah, we'll uh, better get to the next island, that'll be good. And hopefully, hopefully we have enough uh, credits, resource. I, I like I like resource points. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we have enough of those to uh, fully expand the next island too, so that'll be good. And um, yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll wrap up after we get to the next island or something. I'm not really sure how long some of these are, because I keep, I'm kind of just letting myself record. And you know, I'm having some waiting periods and this and that, so... The episode length of these might vary a bit, but yeah. Anyway, talk to you in a moment. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Hopefully, I'll uh, edit that properly. <laughs> yeah, you can see there. I just gained a whole bunch of stuff. So our collectors aren't covering everything, apparently. But yeah, we can just kind of pop over here, jump back that way, and like stuff gets picked up. So yeah, it's working both ways now with the uh, passive thing going. That is, uh, that is very nice. Alright, the, uh, Jura still is just about done, but I thought we should finally get some better food going, because I keep eating fibers, so... <laughs> I think we'll get some cooked meat going if it's worth it. Because, yeah, it is 17.5, and... Fibers... I think fibers was four, wasn't it? Wherever they... Oh, they do go in the food category, huh. I guess they are consumable, but yeah, they're used for a lot of other things. Yeah, they're four. Yeah. Oh, honey's 20. Interesting. And 3M pickup range. Huh. Interesting. But uh, yeah, I do wonder if we can get like collectors for these or not. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. Let's get a bit of meat going while we're at it. Um, I don't know what, like... Uh, we'll do like a couple hundred between these, maybe? I feel like at the moment, until we set up like a new base area... We really want to get, like, one of them passive things for this spot, too, don't we? Because, like, at the moment, I have to stay here to keep both active. Because if I go over to this one, obviously... Now that's unloaded. So, we definitely want to get more of them. Hopefully we can find a good way to get amber. But yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, what was I checking? Oh, right, yeah, so we're zero amber at the moment. Uh, we also haven't been researching. I kind of forgot about it for a while there. Because then, yeah, so we have the cave entrance. So, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be an upgrade for that or what. Because uh, I thought this research table was getting quite filled in, but next time on we get the advanced one, so who knows? Um, yeah, let's get that. So I'm curious what that is. And that should be everything. Jura still 24? Oh, yeah, we're good. All right. Let us uh, let's check out the next island. Oh, alright. A few more fibers. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that this one in particular is going to be that green one with the pinkish trees. Because I feel like that could be one that I want to set up properly at. I'm also, like, curious with the, um, that stone thing that turns the island pieces. Like, so, are they just 90 degrees? Or could we, like, turn this one so they, these connect nicely, for example? Because I don't know how much you can sort of terraform with that. Or, like, what the idea is, like... 
It seems so random. I'm sure it'll be useful, but yeah. Well, anyway, let's, uh, alright, wait, let's sleep first. So we can, uh, see it in the nice sun. Yeah, I think we, yeah, should have everything. Okay. Do that. Boom. Oh, getting a good chunk of uh, points from that, too. Coconut. Boom. Where are we at? That music is loud. Island. Oh, okay, over there. Ah. That's a bit further away. Oh my god, why is the music so loud? Oh, I think it is the one I mentioned. Why a bit further away, though? Yeah, I liked the look of this one. Okay. Do we have a... Oh yeah, right, we get a book when we're here, don't we? Uh a little bit in the way oh look at that 190k okay this one's definitely gonna be more expensive to expand it's hard to see what these are gains 10 percent more credits oh wow just like a flat gain okay well that's very welcome oh yeah no let, let's upgrade that immediately because otherwise i'll start doing things and kind of forget about it that's definitely worth an upgrade or two immediately. Hell yeah. If it's, well, if it's not crazy expensive, obviously. Where are we at? Greed. Uh. I don't know what one that would even be under. Wouldn't be building. Magic? Oh yeah, no, okay. 20%, 30%. Ooh, okay. We're going to want that. But these are upgraded. To expand, this is expensive. So we'll leave that for now. That's insane, though. Like, you think about how many we got overnight. And we've just increased it by, like, 30 40%. Like, just like that. And we can load multiple islands with uh, breakers going now, too. Damn. 300 mushrooms. 15 crafting ghosts. Lust light ingot. Reinforced thread. Okay. Oh, I missed that. Resources spawn 15% more often in your personal cave. Oh. That is another one we're going to want to upgrade. I guess this is the uh, lust light. Okay. Because we don't even have Jurasteel tools yet. So we may just want to skip straight to this. Let's, uh, let's get an expansion though. What's it? Oh, 325k next. Was that just this little bit? Oh, hello. I knew that. Okay, I'm actually liking this. Yeah, this, this here, this section here. That could be a base. Gluttony. You can eat food without hunger. Uh, I guess that's just like, if you want to use food buffs, you can do it even if your hunger's full. Okay. You can dash by pressing shift key. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't realize we didn't have a sprint. Like, movement's pretty fast. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, and you can do it mid-air. Oh, it's going through the uh, food. Okay. That feels like a weird one to get so late. Huh. That's cool, though. What else do we have here? Yellow Ahus? Okay. I'm going to pick up some meat soon. I'm, I'm sick of eating fibers. What are you? Oh, a twig. Oh, they drop... Ooh, 12 flowers. Okay, we have our new source of flowers then. That's pretty nice. 
All right, nice, nice. Now, 325k for the next one. I, I think we can probably justify that. But we do need a... We do need a sleep machine. Yeah, we might make this air... We'll kind of see. We'll wait till we've expanded to uh, decide. Damn, 225 seaweed? 22 crab shot? Those things are crazy. Yeah, let's... um. Yeah, we'll do the expansion. I also want to make the advanced workbench too. Because I, I don't know what we're going to get from that. We should be able to access it now though. Oh, okay. Let's, I'll go break the other one. Super quick stop though. Because uh, there was that... Oh, underground. Okay. Oh, there's just one for this category. Yeah. Retail spawn 30% more often. Alright, that'll do for now. That's good. Alright, let's see what we got here. Advanced research bench. Yeah, we'll move this stuff uh, at some point. Uh, let's just get rid of that real quick. Because yeah, I kind of like this spot, but we'll see how it looks uh, once it's fully expanded too. Let's get that down. What do we got? Amplifier. Adds information recipes to some builds. Oh, as important. How did I read information? Oh, okay. Is that just like a general expansion, I guess? Okay. And that kind of connects to a bunch of things. Uh, let's see. That looks like another breaker type device. Ooh, all right. Let's research that. Because I want to see what a couple of those are. That looks like we'll be getting a new anvil too. But yeah, that looks like a breaker. And I'm wondering if that's not going to be a better version. Because that kind of looks like the upgraded ones. Also, I forgot to pick up meat. Wait, do we? did I pick up any? Because I should have... Yeah, automatically, right? Let's see. Okay, we got 34. Let's eat some actual meat. Ooh, that's good. Oh, you can stack the buffs. Oh, so I guess that's where that gluttony thing comes in. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't realize you could stack the time like that. That's nice. There, there's a lot of little features in this game. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. We'll let that run while we do another expansion. Ooh, 550 for the next one. Ooh, okay. I like the direction that expanded. Yeah. I could see this being kind of a base area. I do wonder if we're ever going to get, like, the ability to move things around more. Because, um, the fact that we have that one, that item that can, like, spin these, maybe we'll get one that can actually move the pieces around. That'd be cool. Yeah. Enhanced. Duration of food and potions increased by 25%. Oh, nice. I feel like so many of these skills are, like... They, they just give that, like, such a natural reaction. Like, oh, awesome. Like, they're just... They're actually really good. And a lot better than you'd expect. Like, some of them just seem so OP. But in, like, a fun way. Duplication. 10% chance of crafting another item. Again! That is awesome. Damn, nice. Okay, we need to, uh... We need to upgrade those a couple times immediately. <laughs> that is very worth upgrading. Damn. Damn. Let's see, where were they? Uh, I guess look for cheap things. Oh yeah, one was magic. That's gain credit. Stration of food and potions increased by 50%. Ooh, the first upgrade on that one's pricey. Gluttony, yeah, it's just one. Oh, it looks like the building section may be done. Uh... Or does it just expand? Oh, I thought you could see, like, the, the outline. Maybe I'm mistaken then. So maybe there is more to this one? Oh, no, because it shows them there. Okay, no, sorry. I'm just... Don't mind me. Right, what do we want? Raise critical damage. Raise click damage to resources. Increase item drop quantity from here. Well, that one we really definitely want to keep upgrading. 
Oh, okay. Maybe we're not doing that one yet. <laughs> Duplication, 10 to 20%, 1.5 mil. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a little pricey. And was the other one we got? Yeah, it was that one, wasn't it? Okay, so we, we won't be upgrading them yet. That's all right. Worth a check, yeah. All right, very good. Yeah, I'm liking this island. Gonna have to get uh, automation set up and everything. And hopefully we can get some more um, some more amber. That's kind of the, the thing I want more than anything right now. You know, there's something... I, I feel like that needs a slight tweak. I've been noticing that a lot. Um, when I try and click things, uh, I go off it. Yeah, it's almost... Um, I think it's because of the angle. If you go straight up and across, it seems to be very consistent. But you kind of naturally try and say swing over the one you're trying to click on. Like that. It's a very minor thing, but yeah. A little tweak on that would be very nice. But yeah, I, I could see this place being a good permanent base spot, honestly. Uh, maybe even use one of them items to turn that so that's squared. We can sort of set up a bunch of stuff around here. This could be a bedroom. I mean, we do have actual base buildy stuff, so we should really probably play around with that. Because I don't know if you can, like, like, foundation, for example. Oh, you can just build out wherever you want. Oh, damn, I thought you'd have to have it connected to stuff. Oh, man, okay, we, <laughs> there is a lot for us to do. Because, uh, we, like, yeah, I'm going to have to wrap up shortly for this one. Um, but we didn't even get to the... The harvesting and stuff, like the auto feeder. Oh, that's for the food. But yeah, like the um, crops and everything we're still going to do. Um, yeah, there's, there's honestly a lot we still have to get to. But uh, I did want to uh, check that out. Oh, chlorophyll converter. Destroys nearby vegetation and transforms into chlorophyll. Okay, I don't know what the hell chlorophyll's for, but interesting. I'm assuming that's going to be an upgraded one by appearance. Water pump V2. Oh, we're starting to get into some upgrades. Cool. Spirit Anvil. Allows you to craft various useful tools. Living Soul. Okay, that's, that's, that's normal. Summoning Table. Allows you to craft creatures and ghosts. Ooh, alright. We're getting into some interesting stuff I was definitely not aware of. Ah. Very good. But yeah, I think we'll wrap it up here for today. Didn't get to everything I wanted, but um, I've been recording for quite a while. So yeah, it's kind of hard to judge how long these will be. I'm kind of winging it because the waiting time and doing things, I'm just kind of keeping it running. Makes it easier for editing with certain things. And, you know, I can pop in from something pops up and all that stuff. So hopefully I'll be keeping it somewhat decent. So feedback on this stuff appreciated. Um, but yeah, I think we'll try and next time... We'll try and play around with some of the stuff that we haven't yet then. Uh, there is new stuff to research, obviously. But yeah, I would like to get some farm stuff set up. And yeah. I don't know, I guess... Um, maybe we'll start next time by getting a bunch of machinery stuff down. Get like a base area kind of going. Uh, although maybe we want to build a platform. Because I, I like this island, but we don't necessarily have to build on the island itself. And I guess one advantage of that too, if we want to do a lot of the automation breaker stuff, if we're setting up our own floors and stuff, we don't have to take up any of the, the spawn space. So, yeah, I also wonder how it works with like, can we build in between? Ooh, that's, that's a very, hmm. Yeah, so I don't know how that works. Like, is there, like, kind of a cross point where it won't let us? Okay. Hmm, that's interesting then. But yeah, we might start next time by getting sort of um, a base area set up. Not like a fancy one, but more just getting all of our utility stuff sorted and a little bit more organized than we had over there. And then, yeah, try and, like, get some stuff going. Some of the stuff we haven't tried yet. Um, such as, like... Yeah, we have the farming stuff, but I'm curious, too. Like, can we put these onto the... Like, do we have to put them on here? Can we even put them on here? Oh, yeah, you can. But I assume, like, if we can put them on 
the foundations as well. That'd be good. Um, what are, what is this? I haven't even paid attention. What do these cost? Oh, just cheap wood. Okay, yeah, nice. Which, that's probably a whole other thing too that I... I had completely forgot about, actually. I don't think I accessed that once in the last bit. The, um... Yeah, design table here. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff to research here. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have to go through some of that. Um... Hmm. Honestly, I feel like I might need to start making a list just so I can somewhat keep on track and actually do things. Because I really thought we'd get to the uh, planters today. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really enjoying this. I said, I don't know how long this series will go for. I, you know, just kind of, um, you know, take it as it comes, enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are. And yeah, just, just thank you guys very much for watching. I, I really do appreciate it. So it's good to be doing like a series type of thing again. Um, most of these type of games I've played on the channel recently have been on stream. Uh, not that we've played anything quite like this recently, but that kind of, you know, bounce around, life simmy, sandboxy, that kind of stuff. So, I know, I'm just, uh, I'm enjoying this. And, yeah. Um, as for, like, off-camera... Well, that's still going, so that's going to be good. That'll keep us, uh... Um, but other than that, I don't know. I might, um... I might, between now and the next one, I'll just get some breakers set up on this place, I think. That way we can start off next time with some of these resources coming in. Resource points, obviously, we need. Um, we need 550k for that. We also need, obviously, yeah, the, the furniture. We have new stuff to research. Um, oh, and it does look like that is separated, isn't it? So we will want a regular research bench as well. If you want to go here somewhere. Uh, do, 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 research. Yeah, because we still have a few here to finish up. Oh, what's vacuum? Collects all dropped items near nearby items from the floor. 10M. Can I, oh, okay. So it's a better version of, uh, yeah. So this can be electrified. So I guess that comes back to the, yeah, the electrifier. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, and I didn't even see the Collector V2. Oh, okay, we must have got a couple... Yeah, I didn't even... Okay. It gathers items from the floor by filters. Yeah, so 10M as well. So I guess the difference is this can be electrified? But I don't know what the benefit is. Electric charge builds in some resources nearby. Yeah, I'm not sure what the benefit would be. Because these both say 10M and nine hmm uh, i think i'll get that research though the collector though and yeah i said um i'll probably do a fair bit of like afk and hopefully build up a bunch of resources off camera but other than that i'm just gonna get some breakers and collectors set up on this island and yeah so we'll make a base we'll get some plants going uh yeah i'm not sure where i want to put it though i was kind of thinking in between could be nice like, because we could sort of set up a base, like, here, you know, sort of like, sort of in between these three, maybe. But I also really like this island, so, you know, we could kind of make it in here. I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll see about that. But yeah, thank you guys again very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying, be well, and I'll, I'll see you in part four soon. Bye-bye.